Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the carbon cycle. Carbon is an element that is crucial to every living organism. It is also a key component of our atmospheric air, and it cycles through our earth, the ocean, biotic factors, abiotic factors, and the air constantly. Carbon recycles among five major locations or influences. These items include the atmosphere, the terrestrial biosphere, the Earth's interior, the ocean, and human influence. Let's take a look at what happens at each of these items or influences. Carbon is found in the atmosphere in at least two forms, carbon dioxide and methane. This atmospheric carbon can be absorbed by autotrophs like plants and plankton to be used for photosynthesis. It can also be absorbed by bodies of water and the ocean. When carbon is absorbed by the ocean, it reacts with the water and creates carbonic acid. The terrestrial biosphere, which is another term for the Earth's land, has several paths for carbon. First, there is an exchange between plants and animals. Plants absorb carbon for photosynthesis and the animals release carbon during cellular respiration. Also, heterotrophs eat plants that contain carbon. Animals also release carbon as methane during digestion and soil contains decomposers that release carbon into the atmosphere and the soil. Carbon is also stored in the Earth's interior. Carbon in the lithosphere includes fossil fuels like coal, oil, natural gas, and deposits like limestone. Volcanoes may release some of this carbon stored in the lithosphere. Up next is the ocean. The ocean has the greatest exchange of cycled carbon and stores a large amount of carbon. The ocean absorbs carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. The ocean also has a large amount of plankton that absorb carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Humans also influence the movement of carbon. Humans burn fossil fuels which release carbon into the atmosphere by combustion. Also, the production of clinker which is used for cement from limestone also releases carbon into the atmosphere. In addition, deforestation from humans can increase the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. So there we go, an overview of the path of an atom of carbon that it may take during the carbon cycle. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.